Today I'm going to show you how to tie one of my favorite flies. It's the first fly I try when I don't know what to use or if something's not working and I've tried everything else then I'll just go to this fly. And This is the Joe's Hopper. So to start we're just going to tie some thread in, build up our base, go to where, about where the barb of the hook is, and then we're going to tie in our red tail. So we're going to go all the way back to the bend of the hook. so that our tail kind of points down a little bit. Trim that up a little bit. Next we're going to take some yellow chenille. And I've got it in the small size here. Now I like to tie this in on the far side of the hook because for our tail we make a loop over the red piece. I found the best way to do it is to get it to where we tie it in our red tail, make the loop and then tie that in just like that I'm going to tie this up a little bit further Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take some black hackle. And then tie it in right where we made that loop. Okay, tie our thread back up the hook shank about halfway between the point of the hook and the eye of the hook. Next we're going to make our forward loops up the hook shank. A little bit of red showing, but I think that'll be okay. Right when you meet your thread, tie off the chenille. Next, you're going to work up the black hackle that we tied in. Four or five, six wraps doesn't really matter, it's not too critical. Trim it up a little bit. Now we have our turkey quill. We're going to cut off, oh, I don't know, three, probably about a half an inch worth. Eh, probably a little bit more than that. Yeah, 
I really like to tie them, cut them flush with the, um, the quill there. And then take that end and trim a little bit closer, size it up real quick. So that way kind of lays the way that I want it to lay. Okay, and we're going to take our matching side, our matching quill, and then do the same thing. your wings line up, tie it in. Now I'm building up a little bit of a base to tie in some um, grizzly hackle. Now I've got this purple. Uh, it's not too critical what color you use. Purple is what I got, so that's what I'm using. Now we're just going to throw in a whole bunch of wraps. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, sure. Okay. Trim that off. This is where your a uh, Thompson style whip finisher comes in handy because so you can get up right close to it and hopefully miss all of the hackle fibers. Oops, I get it that time. Looks like it. That's it. Throw some head, uh, some head cement on. And there you have it, Joe's Hopper.